Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. So you got a ton of pictures of like NCIX Anthony and your storage hard drive is full. What do you do? Shove in another drive? Get an external drive? Go with a RAID box? Well, if you want a super easy solution, you might want to look into a NAS. Something like this one from ASUS Store. So before we get into this unit, let's just go over some best practices for storing your data long term. Probably the least secure thing to do is just shove another drive into your system. At the other end of the spectrum, you'll want to get off-site storage. But what about if you're working within internet upload and or cost limitations and you want to find a good balance? Another good option for you would be to get a NAS or an external RAID enclosure such as this Drobo. Really, they're pretty much the same thing, except that a NAS is connected via a network connection and a RAID enclosure is connected like an external drive via USB, eSATA, or FireWire. It just has more drives inside of it. So a RAID box will generally get you faster speeds, but the NAS has several advantages. It doesn't require a host computer. So for example, if you had a RAID box connected to one PC and you wanted to access files that are on it from another PC, that directly attached PC would have to be booted up. With this one, it can be connected to from multiple systems without setting up any fancy sharing or without having anything else powered on. And it has a bunch of smart features as well. So this one right here is the AS204TE. It's a four bay NAS that includes very handy hot swap sleds that can be configured in RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, 10, and JBOD. Straight out of the box, it's a good robust NAS that'll keep your data safe. But in addition to the gigabit ethernet in the back, the unit has sprouted two USB 2 connections, two USB 3 with one in the front and one in the back, a headphone port, and finally, an HDMI 1.4 port that supports 1080p video output. So what might that be for? This NAS is so much more than just a storage solution because it includes a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, a gig of DDR3, and that HDMI output. So what you're actually kind of getting is an HTPC in disguise. So basically you turn this into kind of like a media center for your house or something. So in addition to holding your pictures and videos safely, you can now put them up on your TV directly. So the way that they do this is with their own app store. There are a ton of different apps all related to media playback and storage, such as Dropbox, Google Drive, BitTorrent, Sync, Photo Wall, and then the big one is XBMC. So instead of getting your own player and connecting to storage elsewhere, you can play back all the stuff right on your TV by hooking up directly via HDMI, and you can hook up a mouse and keyboard for that PC-like experience. So there you go, guys. NASs have come a long way. They're actually changing in sort of like, they're like mutating. Like, We'll have to make the NAS actually scary so my scared reaction makes sense. But uh, there you go. If you're looking to build your own, this is a fairly compelling option. Thank you for watching, guys. Comment below and let us know what kind of long-term storage solution you use. Personally, whenever I'm archiving something, I just take hard drives and I copy things to them and then I write on masking tape and label them and I put them on a shelf. But not everyone wants to do that. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.